where we are. To get the keys. For the Woo! This is going to be fun. Woo! I'm not sure about these curtains. Great. Ah! We'll have to do it again then, shan't we? Stop moving. I feel like I'm here, but I always get told to not do anything because I just make everything worse. I genuinely feel like I'm having contractions. It's so strange. We've rang 111 because you don't mess about when it comes to stuff like this. Where we are to get the keys for the and boo at the same time. It is boo because CBA. <laughs> We've got to move a whole house again, okay. and that is such a horrible thought. I think we could set the record for like most houses moved into. I don't want in a to lifetime. Set, I just want to stay somewhere. Yeah, I know. I wanted to stay here. Yeah, well, I don't know. It is what know. it is, and it's moving day. Woo! So we're gonna go get the keys and then um, my dad's helping us today to do all the heavy stuff because he's got a deaf work. Yeah, strong man. So yeah, I mean we'll take all the help we can get. Let's just go and grab these keys and get into the new house. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. I'm so excited by the heating, shower, I won't stink. I've got a dodgy belly this morning, so I'm just trying to keep everything in. Oh, until we're no finished. one needed to know that. Hello, 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 hello. So we're in. We haven't actually shown you around yet. This house is just so different to what I'm used to. Moving into the farmhouse and then kind of painting it green, just wanting to have our own little touch on it. When we saw this house, I feel like the green is kind of like you either hate it or you love it. A bit like Marmite. I'm gonna really just like, do you know what? I think what we're missing from the houses we've been in is a bit of personality. And a lot of you said that as well. You you need to make your home kind of reflect who you are as people and I think pink like a vibrant colour is kind of what we're after and I don't know just like these little touches let me show you <laughs> little monkey lights I'm not sure about these curtains like they do have personality but <laughs> They're not, you know, it's not selling it for me, you know, so maybe, maybe changing curtains. But I am just so ready. This time I've actually sat down and I've proper thought about it, how we're going to put things where. My only concern is our TV is like, I want to say it's like a 60 inch TV. Obviously I want the sofa to be here. So I'm not sure where the sofa's going to go because we have the fireplace right here. This is not big enough for a, or maybe, maybe sideways. I'm just thinking it's not big enough for the TV unit, let alone the TV. Yeah, so I'm just gonna shut up and I should probably, should probably get to cleaning. Oh, jeez. Well, here we go then. Luckily I've got dad here to help, otherwise I might struggle by myself. So as we were supposed to be staying here, we obviously wanted this room to be a gym. We decided we were getting mirrors, right? These mirrors are massive. They were supposed to stay in here, we weren't supposed to be moving, but now we are, and we don't have a proper way of moving them. So it's pretty much a throw in the back of the van job. Luckily, my dad's got some foam, but I it's a risky one. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice at all, but they are massive. Turns out my dad had a great idea to move the mirrors. We had some foam pads to cushion them, and I found a bit of old rope in the house to secure them in place. Sometimes your looks just in. Although I'd be lucky not to get piles after lifting these bad boys. I did feel a couple of twinges. The aim today was just smash out the heavy stuff whilst we had help. Leona and I can pack the smaller stuff by ourselves at a later date. Luckily, we still have a little while left on this old house contract, so we don't actually have to leave until like the middle of January. So really, there isn't too much of a rush. God, it feels like we only moved in yesterday. I don't think I was quite prepared for how much cleaning I'd have to do. I kind of thought, I don't know, I thought when you move into a rental they, they, don't, they already clean it for you, but I don't think that's the case. I better get my marigolds on. Uh, what's spill? What's the point in having gloves if I'm just... Uh... Now, the last people who lived here... Ah, how have I cut myself? The last people who lived here had dogs, so because it's not been cleaned here, I have to thoroughly clean, otherwise... Well, Connor is allergic to dogs, let's just say that. He'll be itching for months. I've got a hoover. Right, 
I now need to mop, but I don't know where the jug is, so this is going to be fun. We don't have any cups or anything, by the way, so don't judge me. Ah! Right, I need enough room for detergent, though. Oh, I've just squeezed the floor. But I'll do it. Why is it when you've got gloves on, you can't touch your face? It's not itching like crazy. Oh yeah, sorry, there's just a bit of dirt down here. Oh, that's disgusting. Let's get forward a few days. And out into the wilderness we go. Also, do you think a bird hit this window? <laughs> you can there's, see the wingspan. No way. What a perfectly round bird and both of its wings out like that. It looks like it. We're sacrificing the showers this morning because we've just got too much to do, so. Yeah, because we've only got the van for a couple of days. This is how we're rocking and rolling. We better make that first trip. We could buy some bacon and just pop it on my head. Oh, because of the grease. Right, we're back at ye old Moldville. <laughs> Just in time to hear them shooting the pheasants. I'd let them come and live with us if they weren't so scared of humans. Whoa, it's freezing. And how have you been holding up, young man? Which one? How have you been holding up here by hey. yourself? So the cats are coming over officially tonight. We left them here last night because when we're going in and out, we don't want to stress them out. And because they're used to this house, it's best to keep them here as long as possible. But tonight is the night they come over, so that'd be nice. Introduce them to their new home. Best plan of action. What do you think's the best thing to do first? Take him. The, the gonk? Yeah. That's um, the most important thing. Yeah, because Cozy likes the gingerbread man. <sighs> really sad, isn't it? Okay. Oh, do you know what? That... Blackout blinds been up there for so long I forgot how nice it looks when it's off. The view. It kind of ruins the vibe of the room, doesn't it? Spent so long decorating this room! Right, do you think we should start here and just get Cozy's room over whilst All he's... All I'm gonna show is looking at this, I will probably crush you if I attempt to get this down with you. So I think this is one to leave for Harry and your dad. Because do you remember what happened last time? I think we give it a go. No, 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 no. To explain. How much I'm sweating. You know those situations where you can't really laugh because it'll just make things worse? Which then just leads to you wanting to laugh even more? Well, that's exactly what's happening here. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it because I will drop it. It's a bit snippy. <laughs> stop it, I'll drop it. We can do it without the laughter, so stop laughing with me. It's over tiredness, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. It's coming out the other end. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Don't start laughing here. Please be careful. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible. Oh. <laughs> what just happened? The door just opened. It's chalking the wall. <laughs> that is so bad, that one. That is a deep cut. <laughs> The one that got away. He still got it. Yeah. It's just started raining for us. Oh, lovely. I was just, you know, I was thinking to myself, I'd love a bit of rain right now. Pivot! 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 Ah! Whoa! I lost it! Oh! Ah! We're over that bit, buddy. exactly the same thing. That's a full run, isn't it? That'll do. If there's one thing moving house teaches you, you've got a strong relationship. If you can do it three times in a matter of two years and still be very happy together, you've got the right one. Does that make me the right one then? Well... Now the sun's just come out and it kind of makes me realise why we first fell in love with this place. I think it's more the outside than the inside. It's, it is. We came, when we viewed this house, you guys know anyway, it was, was it spring or summer? Uh, I think it was... 
It was spring, so we were with Dave doing the camper van. Yeah. The, the sun was out, so it kind of, you just the landscape here is amazing. It's really sad. Just seeing the sun shine against everything, it's just made me realise. Like, it, I just wish, whatever. I can't get myself down. You, yeah, you've got to think about it like we spend most of our time inside. indoors, as sad as that sounds. Yeah, working inside. So, you know, would you rather be in a nicer house that isn't causing you health issues, or would you rather have a nicer landscape? Because even here, like the factory blows smoke, so I know, like, I even know. in summer. I remind myself of things, yeah. Sometimes you couldn't even go outside because there was just smoke Bell. all in the, yeah. in the garden. Not healthy. No, you're right. Yeah. Well, there's some method to the madness. I'm starving. I'm also very hungry. Load one is officially complete. At the back we've got the living room, in the middle we've got the living room, and at the front here we've got the kitchen, so that means that we're unloading the kitchen first. We're trying to take it room by room so that we don't overwhelm ourselves like we did with the last move, and because we've got the van until Saturday and it's currently only Tuesday, we should be okay. We're doing well. <laughs> we're not gonna be okay. Now for the fun part. The offloading. Actually, this is probably the quickest part. The worst part's filling the van. Right. Well, the kitchen's a mess, but it, it can be because we've just moved in, so it's acceptable for now. Also, I think Leona might have already shown you this, but they've left the bars and. It is disgusting. Anyway, I'm going to try and bring the kitchen stuff in. Well, it's in, as you've just seen, but I'm going to bring it in the kitchen and try and tidy. We'll see how that goes. And really annoyingly, this door doesn't stay open. It's not like a spring thing. So every time you try and bring something through, it ends up closing itself like so. Right. Ah! Oh! Right the ankle. I'm really starting to hate this door. Just steady step over the mop that Liana's left lying around. Right, one box at a time, I think, otherwise it's gonna get really messy in here. Although one thing I love about this house already, so much storage. Where should I put the glasses? And I'm asking you, because if I put it somewhere, you'll hate it and we'll have to move it again. So I'm just gonna ask you first of all, well, glasses and mugs need to go next to each other. That's gotta be a spice cupboard, surely. Spice cupboard's in here. Right, that has got to be a tin cupboard. No, it doesn't. I don't no, think so. Think a deeper should, one, a deeper one. Deeper one. Down. In a deeper one. I so think, maybe they'll go in there? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm glad we agree. I think pull this out that you've put in here. No, I didn't. That was just fluke that that happened to be there for and some reason. Of all things. Later on that night, we had a little help from Harry and my dad. It's like deja vu, isn't it? It is the lower my fingers hurt a lot. Jesus, there's an obstacle! Slow down! Sort of digging into my finger underneath. <laughs> uh, it's in the back of it, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've nailed that! Look at that! Oh. Right, there's three steps in here, okay? One. I'm not counting, I'm not happy. Two. I'm counting myself. Three. One. Two. Dad. Oh! Good timing. Whoa. I tried to move the treadmill earlier in the day with my dad, but it wasn't budging. That thing is so heavy. Besides, I didn't have a waiver ready, so I could have been held accountable for any injuries. So we decided to wait for Harry to arrive. The treadmill has got wheels on it, but it's just um, getting it up on Right, well, someone's going to fall over that. I put the camera down to help because I thought the boys needed some woman power. It really did take four of us to get it to the van. And actually, getting it up onto the van wasn't much fun either. Next on was the washing machine and tumble dryer. It's genuinely surprising how heavy a washing machine actually is. Luckily, we've got wheels to help out. Once Harry'd had a hard-earned break, of course. It is. Oh, perfect, thank you. There's one in the middle as well. Can't to be fair, she told me the washroom was in the sh That's how hungry I am. Onto the wheels we go. These wheels are great. <laughs> Blimey, any more? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the fridge. This thing is the size of three fridges. Why do we always buy big things? It's ridiculous. <laughs> That wasn't a very sure. Well, it's just really slipping. Yeah. Well, once we've got it through the door, it can stand up again. Got to get down there steps. So, well, I'm going to strip it down. It's on the cardboard, so. We eventually got everything onto the van, and we went home for some well-earned sleep. The night before all the heavy lifting, we gathered the cats and introduced them to their new home. 
grab a cap and run. Which one? This is the moment you come over to your new home. And unfortunately that means you've got to go in this thing. I, I feel like you've said that to you've said that to him many a time. Well, of course I have. But at least he's not going to the vets. If you see a ginger cap run through this door, let me know. Alright. It's behind you! Oh, through the door. Was she? Yep. Oh no, she wasn't. She was. We'll have to do it again, again then, then, shan't we? we? They hate it. She'll cry the whole way. <laughs> that was, uh, that a dual team. What are you thinking about this little man? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, nah. No, guys, no. You know what? Pogo is normally more vocal than this. Ah. Ah. It won't be long, Bobby. Poison. Hello, my children. My firstborn. Who is it, Cozy? Is that your little cats? Is that your little cats? Should we let them out, Cozy? <gasps> Hello, Podge. Oh, straight out. He doesn't want to be in there, does he? He knows everyone here as well. Uh -huh. Should we let Pogo Look out? Look at his legal hands. <laughs> Should we let Pogo out? <laughs> I'm going to let them do their own thing now. <laughs> it's like letting a fish out, isn't it? You coming out? Coming out? Should be out. She's ready back. Ooh, go for an explore, Podge. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh. you want a snuggle. Well, that's another job ticked off the list. It won't take them long to get used to their new home. They adapt pretty fast. Anyway, I think it's time for a home tour, don't you? House! New! Exciting! Happy! Eczema free! Breathing's fine! No cold! Not even a tinge of a bad smell! Warm! You said not cold last- Shower! We had a shower. Yeah, but... Oil! <laughs> Not oil, gas. Unlimited heating. <laughs> We're in our new house. Woo! It's going quite well. A little bit stressed, but that's to be, everyone gets stressed with a new house, just happens. Oh, but it's so nice here. It is, isn't it? It's so nice. Do you know how we were saying about wanting a homely home? I or It already feels like that here. Yeah. We're a bit silly, because we were supposed to show you around when it was completely empty. So now, it's kind of like a, a semi-furnished house tour, I guess. It's not furnished at all. Yeah. You've got a half messy house tour. It's probably the worst possible time we could do a house tour. <laughs> Woo! Is there a draft? Do we need a draft oh, excluder? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I'll order a sausage draft. We've got two doors and there's still that much cold air coming in. It's fine, Bobby. I'll order a sausage draft excluder. Don't you order it from Tema because do you remember what arrived last time? It was, it was a plastic sliver. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode! Slightly different to what we're used to. We do like a we do like a good old fashioned house, which a lot of you have noticed. We don't um, anymore. She's wrong. I do never not want another Victorian build house. I liked our, not our last house, the house before. I really liked that house. I, I like, I did. That was like, an old house, wasn't it? I liked that house. And that was Cozy's first house. That was Cozy's first house. Anyway, welcome! This is the first house. Come this way, sorry. This is the first house where all the windows have come with either blinds or curtains. That's rare. And we've been given free mirror. Well, it's not free because it's not ours, but. Well, that, that price is just included in the rent. Well, yeah. They charge you an extra £100 a month for that. Litter trays have been placed under the staircase. Oh, hello. And they've actually adapted very, very quickly. Probably yeah. because this is probably, is this his fifth house move, bless him. It's just so much space for activities. So this is our living space. As you can see, I've kind of prioritized getting the furniture in here already. Fireplace with an actual, wait, what's this called? A mantelpiece. Didn't have that in the other house. You've actually done quite a good job of this. Thank you. Like, yeah. I, I, f I feel like, the annoying thing is, I don't think anything ever looks as good on camera as to when you see it in real life. Like, I tried to get a picture of this yesterday and it just looked so, like... You're right, but it looks so cute in real life. And yeah, you're right, a mantelpiece is just so oh, homely. Oh I think one of the things that sold us about this house, and it's mainly because we said it all the time, these houses lacked personality and because they're rentals, you can't really do much to them. Look at that for quirky! This is my friend! That's ooh-ooh, and that's ah-ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 
and, and the wall's green. I didn't even have to paint it. It was just there for me. Yeah, the landlord's done a good job. I've always said when we buy our own house, I wanted open plan. Obviously, this is not as open plan as I would like as open plan, but this is very open plan because we've decided that this side will be our dining table, which is pretty much the same side as the other side, but it's this side. Pardon? I think I'm most excited about this room for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but Cozy does get his own little playroom. It's just a little space for all of his toys. I think as the living room was so small in the other house and he had his little toy corner, the living room was always such a state. And I don't know why I'm kidding myself, like, we all know he's picking stuff up and he's dragging them in there, which is absolutely fine, but at the end of the day... Exactly. Put him back in here. He got a little climbing slide thing for Christmas, but we gave it him early and yeah, he uh, loves it. We're not going to be here for Christmas and we couldn't travel it, so he's had to have it early. Santa's going to leave a note. We then have... I love the kitchen. I just... I love it. There's something about it. I don't know. Probably the amount of storage that we've got. Yeah, but even the colour, I just... This is my favourite kitchen so far. I mean, right now it's an absolute state. We forgot to bring the bin bags over three times. We went over and like, we need to remember the bin bags and we didn't remember the bin bags. We have a working dishwasher. And a working extractor fan. My favorite part, which I did actually show Connor and got his reaction to it. Look at this. Ready? Oh, do you know what? I can't actually see the spice that I'm looking for. Doesn't matter. It pulls out. Since when are these a thing? One thing I've always been jealous about when I watch like American YouTubers or vloggers, you guys have always got pantries. A lot of them are walk in like a room by itself, but here in the UK, you don't really get a pantry in your house. Do you know what else as well? Laundry rooms. That's yeah. not a thing here. No. Not, not that I've seen in it's any not, house in the It's not. It's always in the kitchen, I think, which kind of sucks. Yeah, laundry makes such a mess. Yeah, you and need a dedicated room. Club. Yeah. Coat hooks. Do these guys have names? Uh, yeah, this is... Stephanie, cream, petunia, margarine. I mean, it's just fantastic. Everything you'd expect from a downstairs bathroom. <laughs> you've got El Bogo. You've got El Cinco. El Cabadini. Oh, oh, there's a toilet roll. Oh, lovely. Hello, it's me. This is our bedroom right now we're on a mattress on the floor but that doesn't matter we haven't had time to dismantle the bed no 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 it's fine it's very comfy it's just the bedroom isn't it and here's our bathroom again excuse the mess i had a shower this morning um we're just living out of bags i'm getting my office back so this is going to be my little space where i'm going to have my desk and i'm going to edit the videos in here this is going to be for now our clothing room we have so many clothes um we probably don't need that many clothes but there's nowhere for them and a single wardrobe ain't gonna cut it. So this room's just gonna be set up as like a walk-in wardrobe almost. And unless, you know, well, baby number two comes at some point. Welcome to Cozy's room. <laughs> it's not really Cozy's room yet. Again, it's just a bed. Cozy is a very lucky boy because he's got his own bathroom. I feel like he's been sleeping better here actually. So this is Cozy's bathroom, which is really nice <laughs> because we can keep his bath stuff away from our bath. Yay! Which means we don't have to keep emptying the bath to have a bath. We can just have a bath. We don't really have a bath, but when it's in the bathroom, it just looks really messy. I have a bath when I'm pregnant. That's, like that's true. Time. So you'll start having baths soon. And then... <laughs> He's got the best shower. He I'm not, I'm a good not shower. happy about it, yeah. So this is our middle bathroom. This is like the centre bathroom to the house, so I guess... If anyone ever stays, which they probably won't because we won't have a spare room, but this would be the bathroom. Well, this is exactly the same as my office. Perfect for your makeup stash to be out of the way. And possibly get a rug so you don't damage the uh, the carpet. What are you trying to say? Personally, Woo! my favourite room. Don't know what we're going to use it for, but it's a room. Oh, Still getting used to this, as you can see. Right, after me. So much room for activities! Yeah, I'm still not with you. I'm one hand in this. It's a converted attic! Woo! I hit my head as soon as I came up here. Right, so it's a couple of days later now, I think. Last night we came with Harry, who helped us out, and my dad, and we got all of the heavy stuff, like... Like the fridge out of our kitchen, which was unbelievably difficult. It's not gonna stay. What's the point? Now we're just here to pick up the remains. We've got a table in the back garden. I'm not happy about that. A leg press in the gym. 
Uh, Leon has actually got a, a bit of uh, pain, pain somewhere. So we're not lifting too heavy to stop the stop, okay? Your health comes first. So we're going to get on with it and we'll keep you updated. Good morning. On this week's episode of What's Wrong With Liana, I feel like I'm about to give birth again. Like the pain I've got in my tummy right now, it's not even in my tummy, it's like in my back and like my top abdomen. It's like this, this I've got this really sharp pain and it's bearable when I, when I sit, but when I stand up and uh, like stand up straight, I just, I can't, it, it hurts so bad. Yeah, Connor's gone to take the van back. Uh, I've taken ibuprofen. I've taken like windies just in case, because I've, I've heard that you can get like really bad kind of like trapped wind, but the ibuprofen hasn't done anything. The windies hasn't done anything. I don't think it's, I don't think it's trapped wind. I know it can be like really, really bad, but it, it I've had trapped wind before and it, it doesn't feel like this, but it's so sharp and it's only when I, I go straight. It's really weird. This obviously was our last day with the van and I couldn't do much heavy lifting because I was literally in tears trying to, we tried to carry a table in and I, I couldn't, I couldn't carry it over the fence to get it into the van. I think we managed to get the leg press. Little man's at his grandparents' house today and I was hoping that I could put some more furniture together and stuff just before he, he got back and sort his playroom out. But it's not looking likely. I, I genuinely feel like I'm having contractions. It's so, so strange and it's horrible. And I've had it since I woke up this morning. I don't feel good. Uh, I'm in so much pain. It's, I'm sat down now, so it's bearable, but I want to go and get my hot water bottle, which means I'm going to have to stand up. And it's I, I can't even explain to you, it's excruciating when I stand up. And to make things 10 times better, the grandparents have had to take Cozy to the doctor's because he's got conjunctivitis, bless him. <laughs> when he comes home, he'll have his little drops and stuff. But uh, I'm trying to hype myself up to, to get up the stairs. I'm going to take my phone because I, I'm one of them now as well, where it's like, I'm in the house by myself now, so I just need to make sure, you know, I've got my phone because, you know, in an emergency, just make sure I've got it on me. <sighs> I'm actually dreading standing up. I don't want to do it. I've never, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. And I just, I'm hoping it's not like appendix or anything. I can't stand up straight. What? Oh, I feel it in my back as well. It's like, it's, it's here. It's here. What is that? I don't know what's there. I don't want to Google either because I just make myself worse. Ow. Ow. What's wrong with me? I'm scared. I can't stand up. I genuinely can't stand up. I don't know if I can. Oh my god. Oh, my phone's gone off. I think he's done that. Oh, I genuinely feel like I'm having contractions. It's so strange. It's so horrible. See, I don't know when is, like, when you experience pain like this, I don't know if it's, like, how long you ride it out for before you, you like, go to the hospital. Okay, so I've been sat on the floor for a while. Um, I'm going to attempt to get back downstairs now with my hot water bottle and I hope it will help and drink a bit more water. <sighs> I dread standing up. It's always when I stand up. I still have my ab separation and I'm wondering if I've like maybe strained myself or something. Oh, I'm coming up with, <sighs> I'm coming up with everything possible. Maybe it would be just one of those kind of like, oh, you know, it's going to just be like a half an hour thing or, and then it'll chill out. But at this rate, if it gets any worse, I'm going to have to go hospital, I think. I'm in so much pain. Well, if this isn't a horrible turn of events, <laughs> we've rang 111 because obviously you don't mess about when it comes to stuff like this. They've basically said, hopefully we're supposed to be getting a call back within 45 minutes from a clinician that knows a bit more about 
stuff, I guess. And if not, I mean, the guy that we spoke to said, if not, then um, they're sending an ambulance. So clearly they don't think it's anything to be messed about with. And I've, I know Google's not the answer, but I did do some Googling and it literally says if you've got sudden or severe pain in the abdomen, <laughs> then it's usually wise to Go seek on. treatment. So... I'll be just so embarrassed if it is trapped wind. But you shouldn't be embarrassed because even if it's trapped wind, it look at you. Yeah. Like, this isn't normal. Like, trapped wind hurts, but it's been I, going on since the morning now. Yeah, I, I, I'm at the point now where I can't really walk. Yeah, that's not good. If it's trapped wind, that's not good, even if it is just trapped wind. So, we need to get you seen by someone. So yeah. Okay, so we did get the call back. You know what was crazy about that? It was literally with it, it was 45 minutes. So she's booked me into an urgent care centre. They're going to check me over in a couple of hours' time. Hopefully yeah. it's just a bad case of trapped wind and you let it off you. And then we go home. Oh, yeah. Maybe she knows a point in your stomach where she can go... And you just go... <laughs> this has been a long house move. Look, we're not moving again, okay? Oh, I know, Ever. I know, I know. This is our forever home. We'll keep you updated. Good morning, good morning. Again, it is a few days later. We've just literally been all over the place. I thought I would update you. I genuinely thought I was about to pop out another baby. Like, if I could describe the pain I was in, it literally felt like I was having contractions. And they literally said on the phone as well, when I phoned 111, they were like, is there any chance you're pregnant? I was like, no. No, no chance I'm pregnant, so that was uh, scary. But turns out, I wanna say about 30 minutes before my appointment, I started settling down. It started getting like better and better and better. And by the time I actually got to the appointment, most of my pain was gone. <laughs> So, the doctor kind of pushed along my stomach. He checked my, my tummy. I even explained about the dull, the dull pain that I get when you push in here, but he didn't, didn't seem too bothered about that. Basically, he thinks it was really, really bad reflux, and he did prescribe me something. I'm not sure what it was called, but it was a, like a, a one-a-day tablet for a week. I decided not to go and get it. They hold your prescription for a week, so if I get it again, I will go and collect them. But I felt, because it went by itself, I didn't feel like I needed to go and collect these tablets so that is where we're at i am fine i'm well it, i swear i swear it is something it's something after the other with like you, you you couldn't write it could you you couldn't write it my poor man came home with conjunctivitis so he's not having the best time bless him and then obviously it, it was so random as well because it was it was the last day that we had with our van. So we'd booked the van for like three or four days, I think, to move all of our heavy stuff. And we had the leg press and we also had a garden table. And I managed to get the leg press on. I was literally, I was like on the floor. This was me the whole time we were moving. This was me. And when I needed to stand up to move the heavy stuff, I stood up, you know, had a bit of a cry as I moved it. Cause it had to be moved, it, it had to go. And then I would drop back down to the floor. But in the end, it just became too painful that I, I couldn't do anything. So. So the garden table we couldn't even take over I only managed the leg press until it got unbearable and I couldn't even walk with the pain so I did not know reflux could feel like that if I had to explain it it was like you know where your chest goes hot you've got your rib cage here and where it goes hollow in the middle here it was such a sharp pain like constant sharp pains running through the top part of my abdomen. Anyways, the POA today, if I stop rambling, is I'm gonna get ready. We have got a couple of campaigns to shoot. Connor has got another case of the man flu. Um, he's got, when he gets a cold, he always gets it like 10 times worse. I think it's cause he's got asthma. So um, he's been really tired recently. So he's he's gone back to bed to have a nap whilst I get ready. Um, we then need to film these campaigns because they need to be sent over for approval tonight. Uh, I think I might attempt doing my, uh, th this will be my beauty room. Now I've moved out of the bedroom so that he can have a nap and I'm not loud and all over the place. But um, this, this is a, what do they call it? It's not an ottoman, is it? A buffet, Phoebe buffet. So I've brought this in. This can't stay in here obviously because I'm me and I'm clumsy. And if I have white in here, it will not stay white for very long. But I'm gonna build my desk eventually, which is back there. I've brought our big mirror in here, which again won't stay in here, but I needed it for, for a video. <laughs> and I bought a bookshelf. If I'm gonna have a beauty room and I'm gonna start filming makeup -y bits again. I kind of go like in and out of phases. Like I love, I can't tell, I'm not good at makeup. 
I'm not, I tell you, I am not good at makeup, but I love doing makeup and I love being creative and I love doing like these weird, even if they look terrible, I don't care. I've had fun to the music, you know? <laughs> so I bought a bookshelf. So I'm thinking once that's built, I'm gonna put some like LED lights behind it. So I've got like a cool like back display. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back in my creative flow. I'm feeling happy again. I'm feeling almost 100% happy again for the first time. Oh, I'm gonna cry for the first time in ages. I'm so glad to be out of that moldy, damp house. I already feel so much more in good health. Um, I think being busy helps as well. Obviously we've got so much to do with the house. We can, I've got furniture I can build. We've got so many boxes still to unpack. And I think the mission also is, cause in the garage, everything's in the garage. We need to get that clear so that we can get our gym up and running so that I can let out some steam via exercise. Cause exercise for my mental health is, can't beat it can't beat it if i'm in a bad mood and i go and have a workout it just it helps so much so how quickly they're gonna happen is a completely different question i've also realized that i can't run and do my makeup at the same time you know how people do like these oh get ready with me i broke my mirror these people do these oh you know get ready with me i'm gonna you know do my makeup and let's have a chat i can't multitask like that because i get so into the run that i forget to do my makeup I've, I've not done anything. I've put some SPF on my face and that is it. And I'm sat here looking like Shrek. So I should probably get a move on, otherwise I shall get nothing done. Also, it's hard to work out kind of like what to prioritize. I think, I think little man's room, but I'm debating what to do because I think I'm ready to get him like a floor bed. But before I get him a floor bed, I have to make sure that everything's mounted to the walls and completely sit. Is that a vein? Ugh. And to be completely honest with you, I am, um, my hair just gets so greasy recently. I'm, I've only ever washed my hair twice a week. I'm a twice a week hair washer. Someone said, um, I think I watched it on TikTok. They were like, your hair's getting greasier these days because brands have realized how bad some of the products were. So now that people are using more kind of like natural ingredients in their shampoo and conditioner, the hair is getting more greasy quick, quicker because those like toxic ingredients aren't being used in your shampoo and conditioner anymore. But I don't have time for more than two, sh like two hair showers a week because it takes me about six years to dry my hair so um i mean realistically i could do with a shower right now i don't have time for one so we're gonna see if we can save it and i will push my shower to tonight <sighs> but that being said i'm going to get ready and then i will be back to build my beauty room i think i don't know because my eczema has cleared except for on my fingers i've still got bits on my fingers but you know i had to clean the house it flared back up when i was cleaning the house at the beginning of the last video unless i was allergic to the gloves which is also possible i am back i am ready i filmed well i haven't filmed everything that i need to film but i've filmed some of it let's get this desk together Woo! can't wait i'm so proud of building stuff <laughs> minutes it reckons although it does say that you need two people so well that's only an hour I'm not happy about this i genuinely cannot believe how long that took me i've just put little man to bed and now i'm gonna make some more nani sauce goat's cheese and caramel onion and nani how exciting oh, i feel like we're getting somewhere ever so slowly everyone's just i'm in a really good mood i feel and everyone else like Connor's still poorly, he's, he's not even eating tonight because he's got man flu. And then my little man, bless him, he's had his drops for a few days. And he's, he's a bit better, he's feeling very better. His cheeks, oh, did we tell you that we took him to the doctors for his cheeks? She reckons it's eczema. The doctor reckons it was eczema. I like, I don't even know if I've said this anywhere, but um, we got a cream for his cheeks and she said that we can use it for seven to 10 days um, if it's still there after the seven to 10 days, then to go back. And it was nearly gone until today and it's flared up again today. So I'm not sure. I think today is exactly a week of using the cream. So I don't know if I just do the extra days and hope that it just like clears it or just accept the fact that it's not doing anything and it could be eczema and he could be a little bit like his mummy. I just feel like I've been so lonesome this whole, like the video so far. I, Connor wasn't with me when he went down to do the van and I was in pain and then obviously he took me to the hospital but after that and then I've been like building upstairs by myself everyone's poorly no one's in a good mood I feel like I'm in the best mood like for the first time in forever I feel good and I just wanna this is how I feel about the new house
Seeing as I'm by myself, we have got a dining table now, so it's quite naughty of me to be sat on the sofa, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch a film. He got back and sought his playroom out. It's not looking lightly. 